Do your students ever struggle with self-doubt or anxiety, exhaustion or stress, impulsivity or perfectionism? Do they ever seem too dominating or too reticent in the classroom? Chances are that in every school, you will have students whose educational progress is being limited by one or more of these issues. What all of these have in common is that they can result from a poor management of cognitive steering biases. So, what are cognitive steering biases? To understand this, we first need to look at the concept of cognitive steering. Let's imagine your brain is a car. Your IQ can be thought of as the car's engine, determining how fast you can travel or process information. Students with a high IQ can travel fast, provided the data road is straight, like in a predictable learning environment. However, across the day-to-day -day life of a student, the social-emotional road they travel down is full of bends, signposts, and traffic. They have to navigate different rules, different people, different tasks, and different information every lesson, every day. In order to be successful, your students need to be able to steer, changing how they respond and act in different learning situations. Cognitive steering is the function of the brain that allows them to simulate and select possible responses to new and unfamiliar situations. However, your students' brains develop certain predispositions in how they steer the road. These are their steering biases. Developing fixed steering biases limits their ability to succeed in the classroom, on the sports field, in teams or on their own. It can also increase their risks of developing mental health concerns. On the other hand, students who learn to steer their biases gain a powerful meta skill, helping them succeed in any learning situation, both in school and beyond in life and work. There are four key steering biases which you can signpost for your students to steer on the school road. These are trust of self, trust of others, self-disclosure and seeking change. Trust of self depends on how robust or permeable your sense of self is. Those with a high trust of self assume the validity of their own thoughts and opinions, whereas those with a bias towards a low trust of self assume the opposite, questioning their own perspectives. Those who can steer optimally adjust their trust of self for each learning situation. Trust of others relates to how available, supportive and reliable you anticipate others to be. Those with a high trust of others assume that people will give them attention, approval and support. Those with a low trust of others assume they won't. Again, those who can steer optimally adjust their trust of others depending on the context. Self-disclosure relates to how visible you make your thoughts, feelings, opinions and ideas. Imagine you have a front and backstage, like a theatre. Those who are low self-disclosing manage and control what information they present to the audience on their front stage. Those who are high self-disclosing open the curtain and allow people see into the details about themselves on their backstage. Once again, those who are able to steer effectively make the right calls of when to be high or low self-disclosing. Finally, seeking change determines how you manage your relationships, opportunities, ideas and goals. Those who are high seeking change look to expand, explore and change those aspects of their lives, whereas those who are low seeking change work to maintain stabilize and consolidate these elements. Individuals who can steer optimally adjust when to be high or low seeking change. Evidence shows that by understanding student steering biases, teachers can signpost students to steer more effectively through the activities and interactions of the school day. 
In doing so, students can become more resilient, resourceful, and effective learners. Not only will they thrive emotionally, they will also thrive academically. The road of adolescence may not always be straight. Teachers can't take out the bends, but they can teach their students to steer.